What is up and welcome back to Cajun Tow Boater Reviews. My name is Bo, aka the Cajun Tow Boater. And today we are reviewing the Power Rangers Lightning Collection In Space Silver Ranger and also the In Space Silver Ranger with the Silver Cycle. So I was going to do these separate, but why not let's do let why not do them together, sorry. Um, and we could check out any differences between both figures. So if you don't know the story about Zane, he was one of the original In Space Rangers with Andros. He was injured to the point of where he almost died. He was placed in a cryo sleep to heal. And once the Rangers find out about that, it just so happened in the show. And once the Rangers find out, there's another Ranger being kept in cryo sleep so he can heal. That's whenever the... Uh, Astro uh, Megazord, the Astro ship, gets attacked and he seems, seemingly dies. But yet he comes back to life and he's able to defeat the space pirates or whatever it was, the, the, the people that were uh, attacking him at that moment. He does have a little bit of issues staying morphed. Uh, his powers are going in and out until he is recharged by a lightning strike on the show and that was actually a pretty cool scene the way they did that so let's go ahead and take a look at the box all right so you got silver ranger i do miss this artwork you got it on the back all right you got the silver ranger and the silver cycle on the no artwork on that side. You got the artwork on this side. I mean, this artwork's pretty cool too, but it's still not the same as the artwork from the original boxes. And you got the back. So yeah, if you liked, um, let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite uh, favorite season of Power Rangers. Um, let me know where you stopped watching it. I've actually I stopped watching it after um, Lost Gal. Actually, after Time Force. I stopped watching it after Time Force, and uh, it was either Time Force or Lightspeed Rescue. Those are for the last two seasons I really watched, and um, I started. I started again, probably in my mid twenties, and watched every single season. And now I just watch the new seasons as they go. So let me know down in the comments below. Um, also, I mean, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, anything helps as well. But let's not waste any more time. Let's move them over to the desk, take them out the box. But before that, cue the intro. Alright y'all and here they are out of the box and I did notice that the one that comes with the, the deluxe figure, the silver, uh, the one that comes with the silver cycle is a little bit darker than the solo released one. But I don't mind that because it's easy to tell them apart. They both come with the same hands, the closed fisted and the chopping hand. Um, only the solo one, not the deluxe figure one, comes with a lightning effect. They both come with the Super Silverizer and Blaster and Sword Mode. Um, I did find you could take the um, Blue Centurion Blaster piece and you could put them, you could put it on there, or any of the Blaster pieces that come with uh, that have that little small peg. You can put them in the Super Silverizer, the Blaster Mode. So this is the head for the solo release the Walgreens exclusive um, I find his chin's a little more Jay Leno like and this is the one for the for the deluxe wave so we'll put them together there you go 
they made his nose narrower on the deluxe wave one um, his eye eyebrows stick out a little more it seems but overall these are mainly um, some good head sculpts so I have no complaints about that all right so let's go ahead and get them off of the turntable we'll check out the solo release first and then we'll check out the uh, the cycle and the the silver cycle and the um, figure that came with that one so just give me a few moments all right y'all we have them off of the turntable and this is the solo release after I get him off the silver cycle we'll do a comparison um, so overall so far he looks good. I mean, it looks just like the In Space Silver Ranger. I do notice a little bit of paint imperfection right there. Some of the greens kind of missing off of it. I kind of wish it looked it looked a little like more detail right here, but that's that's good. We'll get what we can get. Um, I did also take off the gripping hand and put the fisted hand because I find it easier to take it off and put the silverizer on and just leave that hand on there because um, it's a whole lot easier to try to do it while the hands connected to the body so I will leave that hand on there and once we're done I'll put it back on there so he's pretty good pretty got butterfly joints his shoulders aren't that aren't that stiff they aren't that loose they're pretty good he's got double jointed pinned elbows so let's do them in this T pose. All right, there you go. You can his hand. It can go down that far, go up that far. He's got this ab and torso crunch, so he can go back that far, go forward that much. His head. Not really much for looking up or down. He can look up that much, look down that much. He can split this much. He's got the bicep and torso, I mean, and thigh swivel, sorry. Got double jointed pin knees. So you can kick up that high. Foot can go down that much, can go up that much. And overall, I mean, this is a good figure. Um, I think I, instead of Walgreens, since it was never at Walgreens when I was there, I um, I got this off of Macari. I just got this one from the Silver Cycle stuff from Hasbro Pulse. But overall, this is pretty good. So let's go ahead and we'll take him off of the Silver Cycle, and we'll check out this. Uh, we'll check out the Silver Ranger first before the Silver Cycle. So this is the pinless figure. Sorry, let me get them all straight. This is the pinless figure. Um, and uh, it might be kind of hard to tell on camera. But he is a little darker in some places than this one. But overall, he still looks good. The paint application looks a lot better than on this one on this one but let's go ahead and check out his articulation so these are a lot better the shoulders are a lot better than they're not as stiff as this one was but he's still got that double jointed elbow sorry there's his little t-pose butterfly joints on both of them Alright, his hand does like this, goes up and down, so I notice this one has the joints right here on his wrist, while the original solo release has the joints right here to move up and down. Alright, helmet, you can look up that much. Look down that much, about the same 
That's that one. Just gonna look down, look up. And this one, the, the new body figure, he has the same issues when you try to get him to stand. The legs want to come down, so all you gotta do is pick him up. Got the bicep and torso swivel. Double jointed knees. And he's not that stiff, so that's a good thing. Can kick out that much. His foot can go down that much. Can go up that much. So overall, these are two pretty good figures. Um, it's easy to tell them apart. Sorry, yo, I'm trying to get this to where I can get them to stand. Like I said, it's easy to tell them apart. Um, sorry, I gotta push this up. See, that's that problem that a lot of people have been having with the figures. But there you go. I find that the gold's a little lighter on this one as well. You can tell the gold's darker. Um, his belt's more defined on the original solo release. And also, that might just be because of the way I have it turned. No, nope. also the gold goes around fully on this one's than this one's. So I'll go ahead, I'll give this solo one. Because, I mean, that little, I'm not even going to take off of that little speck because that's the only paint um, defect that I find. So I'll give this one, the solo release, a. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 because that's a good, it was a good figure. Nothing bothered me about it. Nothing was wrong with it. It may have been a little stiff, but not enough to take off any points for it. Because this one, there's a little more detail missing than what's on this one. Um, I'll give this one, I mean, the paint's kind of messed up, so I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It's not that bad. Um, let's go ahead and check out the Silver Cycle. So... So the Silver Cycle, it's not bad. I mean, most people were hoping that it would be like the whole um, fold up and turn into the glider as well, like it did. But overall, it is pretty good. It's got the you got the little speedometer and stuff like that. You got the front of it. It's got the right emblem on the front of it instead of that X. The wheels are good. It turns with the with the handlebars. You got the like I said, the wheels are easy to spin and stuff like that. There's little there's rubber for the tires. It's not plastic, and I mean it stands up pretty good. So I'll give the Silver Cycle a 10 out of 10. I mean I have no problems with it. The paint looks good. It's a good design. Some people will probably take off because it doesn't fold up into the Galaxy the glider like it did in the show, but. I'm not going to say anything about that. It's it's a pretty good vehicle, just like I didn't have problems with that Vector Cycle for, um, for the Time Force Blue. So yeah, if, you've, uh, if you wanted this figure, if you were not able to get the one from Walgreens, or if you wanted the one with the Vector Cycle, um, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you had any quality control issues. I, I don't think... My quality control issues are that bad compared to what some other people are having. Um, I've been gr I've been thankful lately for not having that uh, that many quality control issues for the figures I've been getting. Um, if you uh, let me know what you thought about in space, um, that was supposed to be the end of Power Rangers right there, but they did so good that they continued. And I'm kind of glad they did for the next twenty something years. But you can search Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter for The Cajun Toe Boater. You can message me on there. I'm also, um, when I'm home from work, I've been uh, streaming a lot on Twitch. Uh, I will put that in the description as well. All my links will be in the description. You can search Two Old Cajuns Nerd Out for mine and Cajun Toy Reviews podcast. Um, go ahead and subscribe to that. Listen to that. We're... Like I said, like the title, uh, the name of it suggests, Two Old Cages Nerd Out. We nerd out about different things. We recently just did a 
Predator podcast. And we did that one a little different. We had to do a Facebook Live since since uh, something was prevented. So a lot of things were preventing us to getting in the same room together. So if that works out just fine for us, we may do that while I'm on the boat. Do some uh, podcast while I'm on the boat with that. But other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. Just overall, thanks for everything. And? Thanks for coming out. <laughs>